Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about what happens when a champagne age and is it still good to drink? So this is to answer another member's question. She asked me a couple days ago that, hey Angie, I had a bottle of 93 Dom Perignon I bought years ago and it's been sitting in my fridge. Is it still good to drink? Great question. Well, first thing is I wanted to ask her how the bottle has been stored. If your bottle of wine or champagne has been stored incorrectly, say right next to a window with direct sunset, uh, temperature variation and lots of vibration, yeah, you are right, this bottle is gone. But as she told me, it has been carefully kept in a uh, fridge, then I told her, absolutely you can still drink it. So people always ask me what kind of wine can age and how long can they age and how can I tell the difference. There's many factors that help a wine age for a long period of time but one of the common denominator across the board for a wine that can age is always acidity. A wine with a high nut acid act as a backbone to help wine ages. The Usually the higher acid wine will age forever. And of course there's other things that help the wine age elevated alcohol, high tannins, and sugar. But nonetheless, all the wines that's worth aging for a very long period of time needs elevated acid. That's true across the board pretty much everywhere. So with champagne, it is considered one of the higher acid wine, and that means it can age. In addition to that, Dom Perignon is considered the Tete de Cuvée, which is the top of the line for their house, and it's made only in the best vintage, although recently they've pretty much made it in every single vintage, but it is usually made in only the best vintage, and it's being made with the utmost care during the process. So those wines are made to, meant to age for a very long time. Now here's the thing, because you asked the question, I want to let you know what happens when the champagne ages so it doesn't freak you out, once you open the bottle. So here I have a 1985 champagne, which is even older than the 93 that you asked me about, and the champagne is still absolutely drinkable. But right next to it, I have a 2002 champagne, side by side, and I want to tell you what to expect when you open your older bottle of champagne. So both of these is going to be drinkable and delicious, but they are going to taste very different. The 2002, when you open it, first of all, there will be more resistance trying to open it because the cork is still in really good shape. If you ever opened a bottle of champagne before, you notice that the bottom of the champagne cork really pops out uh, because it's trying to hold, it's being held in by the cage and everything is staying in there. But as the older the wine gets, the, the more that cork is going to shrink and it's going to be a little smaller. So for the 85, when we're ready to open it, it's gonna come out a little easier. It's gonna be a lot looser and if you compare the cork, this one is going to have a really tiny shriveled little bottom of the cork, whereas in this young one is still going to look like a little uh, triangle. It's going to be bigger on the bottom. And secondly, the color is going to be very different. Um, the golden rule is red wine as they age, lose color, white wine as they age, gain color, and champagne is technically made by white wine or or white base wine, so as they age, they gain more color. So if you compare the colors of these two, the older champagne is going to have a more golden hue, whether as a younger champagne, it's just going to be a bright yellow straw color. Number three, the amount of bubble in the uh, glass is going to be significantly different. So through the years of aging, um, champagne will lose its fizziness and it's going to be less bubbly. So don't freaked out when you open your 93 Dom Perignon and see there's like all, all but three bubbles coming out of your glass. It is natural, it is supposed to happen. So if champagne is losing its bubble as it age, why do people bother aging them? Because most people will think the reason why you drink champagne is to enjoy that fizziness, the bubbleness. So here's the thing, there are certain flavor characteristics that you cannot achieve by winemaking technique alone or the grapes. Those are what we call the secondary and tertiary aroma. Aroma that tastes almost like ginger and dry fruits and peels and, and all this really kind of sexiness and earthiness that doesn't come naturally in champagne wine, comes out as you age them. So the people who age their champagne and enjoy it later, they're sacrificing the fizziness to gain that really complex secondary and tertiary aroma. So when you are ready to open that 93, first of all, invite me so I can talk through all the flavors for you, but just appreciate it for what it is. Know that the cork is going to be shriveled and smaller. The bubbles are going to be a lot less. The color is going to be a lot darker, but really, 
focus in and enjoy that aroma your old champagne should give off on the nose, that secondary and treasury, that savory, earthy aroma that you will never find in a young bottle of champagne. Hopefully this helped answer your question. I'm very excited for you and congratulations for keeping that champagne for that long. And I hope this video also helped any of you who has an old bottle of champagne that you're a little worried about right or not to open. If you find this video helpful, please hit that like button. If you have any other question you would like me to answer in a future video, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my mailing list on angiesum.com where I will send weekly recap video on all the wine topics I did that week and you will periodically get really cool wine deals from me as well. So thank you very much for watching. Bye!